<laughs> Every dog has his day. Every dog has his damn day. <laughs> Everybody that worked with this group, Giuliani and Trump and all the rest of them just oh, corrupt individuals, all y'all can be saying is, didn't it rain, children? Didn't it rain on oh my Lord? Ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Oh, ain't it raining? <laughs> well, it rained 40 days. Here come Giuliani. Former employee brands Giuliana, Giuliani. Um, Grapus Predator. <laughs> And she's got a 3.1 million lawsuit. Claims he demanded, um, you know what, from her. And then fired her and then threatened her to keep quiet. Sound just like him. He's a lowdown, <laughs> dirty craziness. Okay, he's a walking epitome of a madman. When the shoe polish ran down the head, I was like, and he was so, I don't know. To me, it seemed like he was, he was buzzed off something, and it was more than, it was either alcohol or it was meth. <laughs> he be so hyped. Who said, oh, my God. Now he's threatening. That sounds just like Rudy Giuliani. Is he? Why don't he just plead guilty? A former employee of Rudy Giuliani has filed a 3.1 million sexual harassment lawsuit against him, claiming he abused her while she endured toxic work conditions. Noel Dunphy, a writer and business consultant who worked for Giuliani starting in 2019 said the two had a romantic relationship but allegedly things changed when he began abusing alcohol and demanding sexual favors from her the daily beast reports in her suit filed on wednesday in new york supreme court dunphy wrote rudolph w julie honor annie the former U.S. attorney, once hailed as America's mayor, is a sexist, sexual predator, and an abuser. Oh, you just right along in company with your friend. Oh, God. With your friend, Dadano. She said, during the time, oh, Lord. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me sit down. She said, this is insane. According to the lawsuit, now, Dunphy, who was representing herself, began working for Giuliani as he retained her for business development work and other in January of 2019. It began with Rudy as my boss and lawyer and later turned romantic. Mm-hmm. She said during the time that Giuliani offered his legal advice to help her achieve justice over the abuse she suffered earlier in her life. Instead of legal advice, however, the lawsuit claimed that Giuliani would get frequently intoxicated while discussing matters of law. And he leveraged his counsel to pressure her for sexual quid pro quos during the lawyer client consultations. Oh, oh, listen. Don't get me wrong. She ain't no shrinking violet and a damsel in distress by no means. She knew she was getting into it with this jerk. Okay. But however, he looks so seedy. Giuliani's lawyer, Robert Costello, said his client denied the allegations and that Dunphy was never an employee of the former New York City mayor. 
Now, if she got any check, if if he's written her anything, um, where money exchanged hands, then they got him. If she's just a lying whore, they got her too. Because if she can't get her way, and now she's decided to um, bring this relationship out, and women will do this in a heartbeat. Um, hey, you know, hell hath no fury. That's why you better know what you're doing when you mess with a woman. It ain't all peaches and cream. Um, these libelous allegations drafted by an individual with no lawyer because no lawyer would associate themselves with this nonsense. <laughs> Along with the sexual harassment claims, she claims that he created, Giuliani that is, a work environment that was very toxic, fueled by heavy drinking. Well, I definitely, I'll drink to that. Despite attempting to cultivate a public image of himself as America's mayor, Giuliani frequently made racist, bigoted, anti-Semitic, and anti-LGBTQRSTUV, I mean, and misogynistic remarks, often during confused and hostile alcohol-laced tirades, forcing, reinforcing the toxicity of the workplace operated under his direction. Adding to the chronic and pervasive violations of applicable, applicable New York State and New York City laws prohibiting discrimination in the workplace, the suit states. The suit, the suit also claims that Giuliani would start drinking first thing in the morning and kept drinking throughout the day, which was affecting his behavior as the boss and her and lawyer. Then in 2021, after she was allegedly subjected to more sexual harassment, Dumpy said Giuliani fired her without reason and failed to pay her for the work she had already done. Well, hell, Donald Trump wasn't paying him, so what made you think he was going to pay you? Even though she agreed to be off the books secret employee, Bingo! She told Daily Beast that she had hard evidence regarding her allegations of non-payment and a toxic work environment. Well, yeah, and it better be good. And if you're representing yourself, you might be a fool in this one. When she complained, the lawsuit claims Giuliani threatened to keep her quiet. At these times, Giuliani threatened Dumphy with further retaliation if she could not stay silent, stating that his private investigators and political connections to President Trump would enable him to retaliate in other ways. So don't fuck with me. Expressed and implied, she wrote in the lawsuit. And they got all these pictures of them together, y'all, and they look sick. He looks like an old pervert again, and she looks like somebody that's just going along for the ride and taking advantage of him. She don't look like she like him at all, and whatever she have to do with him and to him, she don't like it. Tell me if y'all heard about this article, and I got this from. What y'all think about this claim? Uh, from Noel Dunphy, a writer and business consultant who's now bringing assault against Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Leave your comments below and I'll see you in the next video.